Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Severance, starring Patricia Arquette, John Turturro, and Adam Scott. Um, the premise is simple. There is a company called, I think it's called Luminix or Lumi Luminox, something like that, and uh, their employees agree to go undergo a procedure which will sever their memories their personal memories from their work memories? I, I don't know how you could do that. That that sounds bizarre. So when you're at home, you won't remember work. And when you're at work, you won't remember home. If you don't remember home, how do you get home? If you don't remember work, how do you remember to go to work? It makes no sense to me. It's from Ben Stiller. I assume it's supposed to be a satire about the corporate world. And I assume it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Christopher Walken's in it too. I'm not exactly sure why anybody would go through this procedure. Or why it's supposed to be funny. It feels a little bit like celebrities not understanding the corporate world having kind of only a minimum understanding of that. It streams in February on Apple TV. Um, what's the purpose of this? What, what? Where's the drama in this? This seems so contrived. Uh, okay. I, I who, who was demanding, oh boy, I, I, I wonder what it would be like to sever my memories from work and home. Who, who was sitting around dreaming of that? Do you have any idea what people want to see in a movie anymore? Hollywood? Any idea at all? This is not it. This is not it. Okay, if they wanted to see anything about a workplace... They'd want to see something like Office Space, right? Where the main characters win the day against the corporation and the bosses suffer. Something like that. That's cathartic for people. That's usually fun for people to see. But I guess when you live in a bubble uh, at Hollywood... You, you just you just don't know anymore. Let's see if there's anything here. No. It's it's a lot like this shot. Feels empty and hollow. Is it supposed to be a drama? Is it supposed to be a TV show? I mean, these are fine actors. Don't get me wrong. Patricia Arquette's okay. John Turturro is good. Adam Scott is good, usually good for comedies. What happened to doing like actual comedy? What what happened to doing that? Like, I don't know. If they had done this movie I, ten years ago, I think the the premise would have been that the employees were coerced into doing this, and uh, it all went horribly wrong. Or, I mean. I don't even think the premise of this works at all. It would be a workplace comedy, maybe. A fun workplace comedy. Revenge Against the Boss or something like that. Now it's this, this weird contrivance. It's a very, very specific thing that you're going to sever memories between the workplace and home. To what end? How does that make anybody happier even in that world? Even in that world. I don't remember home when I'm at work. Then who the hell am I? I'm sitting at work, working along. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I, when when do, when does five o'clock hit and I go home? Like, does it? Do I even think about going home at that point? It makes zero sense. You know, in in the quest for Hollywood to subvert expectations, they seem to have just driven it off a cliff to subvert everything. 
to the point at which nothing makes sense anymore. I mean, who greenlit this? Who sat there and went, ooh, down. You severed the memory between work and personal life. Huh. Well, there's a lot you could do with that. Is there? What? What? Other than having characters go, I don't remember who I am. I, I don't... I have nothing to say to you at work because I don't I don't know if I have a family or kids. I, and when I'm at home, again, you know, what does this company do that's so awful that you wouldn't want to remember it? And how does that work? How does that switch work? The moment I walk out, I suddenly remember who I am and go, oh, oh. Oh, better get in the car. Oh, I don't I don't remember if I, did I do any work today? I don't even know. And when I come back to work, do I remember the work I did the day before? Or do I start over again? This movie makes zero sense. It's 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 very impractical, very convoluted, clunky. And it's a shame because you have a cast of actors who could do something. You could do something if you gave them some real meat here. Even if it was just a workplace comedy about people hooking up and it not working out, you know, a, a Christmas party gone wrong or, I don't know, sexual harassment or uh, 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 politics at work, whatever. There's so much to mine and yet they're just not doing it. It's like they've given these projects to people with nothing to say. How can you have nothing to say? How can you call yourself a creative and have nothing to say? I, I just don't get it. Maybe it's just because I have too much to say. <laughs> you know me, I have an opinion on everything. But this, I, I don't know why I would watch this. I, it's not that I hate it. I just don't know why anybody would watch this. It's like they advertise something and I just go, well, what am I supposed to watch? What, what exactly am I seeing here? Paint dry? Is there no one in Hollywood that, that hears a dumb idea and goes, no. No. Or how about, give me a story. Give me something that I can sink my teeth into. Something. But is it is it this maddening quest to subvert expectations that anything that's even remotely similar to what's gone before, does that just get axed? Is that is that the issue? It's like, oh, well, this is going to be a drama. Oh, dramas. We've done dramas. Of course you've done dramas. They're all dramas. Everything's a drama. Even the comedies, to some extent. You, you get woke, go broke. Is the only response I can have to this. People outside of Hollywood will have to entertain us. It's the only answer. You people have lost the thread. You want people to watch the Oscars? Are you out of your mind? Watch the Oscars? Don't even want to watch you people do what you're supposed to be able to do. You think we want to see you accept an award for what you can't even do anymore? All right. I'm done. I don't know what this is. I I honestly just don't know what this is anymore. You, you show me a trailer and I, and I wonder why you even bothered. And that's it for me, Tony D. And little Joan. We'll see you tomorrow.